Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. In 2023, I'm on a bit of a mission to make sure that before we buy new skincare products, we make sure we're maximizing the benefits of the ones that are already in our collection and in our skincare routines. That way we can minimize waste and our overall spend and maximize the benefits we're gonna get when it comes to our skin goals. I wanna make this part of a series where we take each ingredient in our skincare routine and talk about the best ways to maximize and supercharge its performance. Today, we're kicking things off with these vitamin C serums. Great if you're looking for a of vibrancy, luminosity in the complexion. Vitamin C is also a powerful antioxidant and a great way of fading hyperpigmentation, dark spots and discoloration. But are you using it correctly to get maximum benefits? Sit back, relax, let's talk supercharging our vitamin C. Now before we get into this video, just a quick reminder to do all that youtube stuff if you haven't already. If you could reach down and give this video a big thumbs up and a like. This is honestly the best way of supporting me or any other content creator you enjoy watching because the more likes a video gets, the more widely youtube will distribute it on its platform. So this just ensures as many people as possible discover our wonderful Mad About Skin family and for that I'm always so so grateful. Also we're mixing things up a little today with some new filming equipment, new lighting. Let me know your thoughts, feelings, opinions in the comments section below because I really want to perfect this style of thing in 2023 so any feedback you guys have would be much appreciated. Now without further ado shall we cut that waffle and delve straight on in. So in this video, I'm not going to be covering off the best vitamin C serums out there. There are so many to choose from, and I did a comprehensive review of some of my favourites in a recent video, which I'm going to leave a link to up there. Definitely check that out if you're still yet to find your perfect vitamin C pairing, because there's something for all budgets, all skin types, and all outcomes in that video. And it's kind of like a whistle-stop tour of all the best of the best when it comes to vitamin C serums. In here, now I want to focus on how we can maximise the benefits from whichever one of those fabulous products you chose. I'm my top tip number one is don't feel that you only can use vitamin C once a day. We're always told that when you reach for vitamin C in its pure form, ascorbic or l ascorbic acid, that you use it once a day, usually recommended in the morning to maximize antioxidant protection. Well, this is definitely the case with ascorbic and l ascorbic acid because using it twice a day could just dial up the rate of irritation and sensitivity in the skin. However, in that routine where you're not using your ascorbic or l ascorbic acid, you don't need to miss out on your vitamin C fix. You could use a vitamin C derivative. This is a great hack for dialing up the benefits you're going to get in terms of brightness, luminosity in the skin, and speeding up the rate at which you fade your hyperpigmentation without overdoing your ascorbic or l ascorbic acid. Vitamin C derivatives are fabulous because they're much more gentle than pure form vitamin C. So save your ascorbic and l ascorbic acid for your morning skin care routine, but don't miss out on your vitamin C fix in the evening. Just reach for a derivative instead. You'll definitely see a boost to your glow game. Your hyperpigmentation will start fading that little bit quicker. And this this can be a great way of just dialing up the benefits you see from your vitamin C serum without also dialing up the side effects. My tip number two is if you're reaching for a pure form vitamin C serum and you happen to be exfoliating on the same day, use your vitamin C straight after your exfoliator because it'll work that little bit harder for you. So pure form vitamin C, ascorbic and L-ascorbic acid, penetrates best in a low pH environment. Naturally, our skin is at a pH around 5, 5.5, so most vitamin C serums will have in their formulation some ingredients which will lower that pH. That way it can penetrate the skin better, get to work where it needs to be to deliver all these great benefits. Well you can give the serum a little helping hand. If you're using exfoliating acid on the same day, use that first then follow with your vitamin C serum. That exfoliating acid will already have lowered the pH of the skin so when you put your serum on top of it it'll just get to work that little bit quicker, penetrate that little bit better and give you an extra bang for your buck. Don't get too hung up on this. If you're not exfoliating on the day in question, don't worry about it. The vitamin C serum you're reaching for will be designed to naturally lower that pH. But don't forget, if you are exfoliating, give it a helping hand and use your vitamin C straight after. Tip number three is if pigmentation is your biggest concern, use your vitamin C in a targeted way. So how this works is if you use your vitamin C serum all over the face, you will see some evening out of the skin tone, you'll get a nice glow up, some return of that vibrancy and luminosity to the skin. However, if you're looking to fade specific areas of hyperpigmentation, the best way I found to do that is on one day, use your vitamin C serum all over the face so you're getting maximum benefit for that glow up. Then on the second day, just target it in a pinpoint way on those areas of dark spots and discoloration. Day three, go back to reapplying it all over the skin and kind of alternate in that way. This I find gives you maximum glow, but also fades that hyperpigmentation that little bit quicker because you're targeting this potent active on the specific areas where it needs to get to work. You're not using it on the areas where there isn't that discoloration. I would definitely recommend this if dark spots, discoloration and 
hyperpigmentation are your primary motivator for reaching for a vitamin C. It's a really great way of not necessarily having to use any additional product, but seeing quicker results when it comes to fading hyperpigmentation. Tip number four is don't obsess about the layering. I see so many people almost going into a blind panic when they reach for a vitamin C serum, worried about what they can and can't use it alongside. There are so many scare stories out there. You see articles saying don't use vitamin C and niacinamide in the same routine. You have other saying vitamin C and peptides don't mix. In truth, vitamin C actually layers with everything. The one exception I would probably make is with your retinoid, particularly if it's a high strength retinoid. I think, you know, two irritating ingredients side by side, probably not gonna deliver you the very best outcomes. But with the exception of that, vitamin C in its pure form, ascorbic and l ascorbic acid, goes with everything. The peptide myth came out of a study that was done many decades ago and was kind of misinterpreted. I don't know where the myth around not using vitamin C and niacinamide came from. You absolutely can. So take some of the stress out of your life and out of your skincare routine. Choose the vitamin C serum that you think will work best for your skin and just slot it into your existing skincare routine. Honestly, don't stress the layering. Your skin won't mind and I promise you it's not as complex as people want you to believe it is. My final tip, tip number five, is don't forget that vitamin Vitamin C is not the only antioxidant out there. Lots of people reach out to me and say, Rob, I can't really tolerate using vitamin C, particularly ascorbic or l ascorbic acid, every single day. So on the days I can't use it, I'm missing out on the antioxidant protection. You don't need to. There are so many other antioxidants on the market. And I covered some of my favourites in a recent video, which I'm going to leave a link to up there. If your skin can't tolerate vitamin C at all, or maybe you can't tolerate it for daily use, then on the days that you're not using it, just use another antioxidant. Pycnogenol, fruit, acid, vitamin E. There are so many amazing options out there that will give you that free radical protection with less irritation than what a lot of people experience with vitamin C. I think vitamin C was one of the gold standard holy grail ingredients, but it's not the only one out there. So if you're looking for some antioxidant protection, but your skin can't always tolerate vitamin C, just choose from the other amazing options that we have in our skincare lives. And that way you can maximize your antioxidant protection, minimize the risk of any side effects. So there you have it guys, my top five tips for supercharging the performance of your vitamin C. Whichever vitamin C serum you reach for, hopefully these hints, tips and hacks will just make sure that you're getting maximum bang for your buck in terms of fading hyperpigmentation, giving that glow up and that luminosity back to the skin. I would love to know your own experience with vitamin C, so sound off in the comments section below and let me know what your current holy grail serum is. Wherever you are in the world guys, stay safe, stay well, love your skin. Take care. Bye.